Hey guys, I have a fun and very interesting video for you today. I am gonna to see if I can fool the in-cabin driver monitoring system in my 2019 Model 3. I've been testing the in-cabin camera and its functionality ever since October 2021. I've tested with sunglasses, I've tested with hats, I've tested looking away, looking at the road, all different scenarios, closing my eyes. Today's test is going to be with these party masks. I have a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna put them on. Now this is highly controversial and I would never recommend anybody test this out. I'm gonna be going at a very low speed. I am in a business park. There's no risk of children running out. There's no risk of people around. I've been sitting here in the same spot now for the past 15 minutes and I haven't seen a single person. We're gonna go slow though, just in case. First of all, I want to mention that a comment came in uh, on a much earlier video about sunglasses. They said, hey, you know, the, the effect you're trying to do with these masks is the same as wearing sunglasses. It is not. And I'm gonna tell that, I'm gonna prove that right away. So if you're wearing sunglasses, it is true, the, the camera can't see your eyes, but it does track the position of your head. So I'm gonna show you that to start. And you're going to see, I get a message saying, please pay attention to the road. If you get three or more of those messages within a short driving distance, you get a strike. If you get five strikes with the in-cabin camera, you get beta removed, I, I always call it beta, you get supervised full self-driving removed from your vehicle. Now you only get it removed for a week. Previously, when I first got full self-driving, when it was beta, they would remove it and you just, you wouldn't get it back until another update. And who knew when that update was coming? It was really aggravating. So I am kind of now, it's kind of like that Pavlov uh, dog where, or I think that's what it's called, where, you know, you just, out of habit, you you it's like getting shocked, and then you realize, oh, I better not do that anymore. So, <laughs> you 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 learn over time what not to do. And I will say that if you are not wearing sunglasses, or you know you're just driving normally, I have the seven one rule, and I'll post a link up above. The seven one rule basically says that you can look away from the road and look at the screen, for example, while you're driving, for seven seconds and you'll be okay as long as you look at the road, look back to the road for one second. If you go lower or higher on those thresholds, for example, if you look away for eight seconds, you're going to get the pay attention to the road message. And if you, same thing, if like let's say you look at seven seconds, but you only look up for half a second, then you dart your head back down again, you're going to get that message. Nobody that I know has tested this to the level that I've tested it. And I just want everyone to be clear that sunglasses, it still tracks the position of your head. Whereas with these masks, we will find out whether or not it tracks the position of your head. So let's just prove it right now that sunglasses still give you that message. Before I get started, let me go in and change the setting here for the speed offset. I'm gonna turn that off. So I can, I have full control over my speed. All right, here we go. Dial the speed way down. Okay, so I'm paying attention. So now as soon as I get out on this road, I am going to look at my screen, look away and I'll start counting. It went way up, the speed went way up, Let's slow it down. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna look away. Oh, I get, get, okay, there, it, saw, it read the 30 miles per hour, so I'm dialing it way down to 11. Okay, here we go, looking away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, there we go, 22, 23 seconds, I get the please pay attention to the road message. And I did apply, even, even though I applied force to the steering wheel, I still got that message saying I need to pay attention to the road. So that is proof that with sunglasses, it is tracking the position of your head. Now, if I wear these sunglasses and I close my eyes completely, 
it's not going to know. You know, it can't see whether my eyes are open or closed. Now with these masks, same thing. It can't see through these tiny, tiny little holes in the mask to know that you're opening your eyes. So that's kind of a known situation. So before we get any further, I'm just gonna go back to where we were so that I can start in the same spot because this is a perfect road. There's literally no traffic and it gives me an excellent opportunity to test this. All right, so here we go again. I'm gonna turn it on once we get out onto this road and it's gonna immediately, once we get past this 30 mile per hour sign, it's, it's going to register 30 miles per hour again, even though I lower the speed. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Now there it's gonna ramp up to 34. I'm just gonna bring it down right now to 15. But as soon as it sees that sign, it's just gonna go right back up to 30. So as soon as we pass this sign, I will go ahead and begin the test. Okay, it's keeping the 15 miles per hour max, perfect. Lower it down even more, we'll go to 1312. Okay, looking straight forward, cameras are locking in. It's essentially reset the timer. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out now. Looking down at the screen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so <laughs> as you could see, it clearly did not care that I was looking away, whereas with sunglasses, it does care. So very interesting to know that it really just seems to not know what to do. It's which is so weird to me because it can see these eyes. It can see that I'm angling them down toward the screen. So you think that it would think that you know my head is is angled that way, but for some reason it just doesn't register. I don't know. That's an issue that full self driving has right now. Okay, we're gonna do this one last time with this mask here and see if we can fool the camera. But not only fool the camera, I'm just gonna really do a bunch of random stuff. I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna look away. I'm gonna be like completely distracted and see what happens. Now, just to be extra safe, because there are a couple cars that come down this road uh, more than I would like, to be honest. It's 7 p.m. I, you know, it's really not that bad with the traffic. But just in case, since I'm going to be going extra slow, I'm going to put my hazard lights on. Uh, so if anybody does come up behind me, they will know that they should go around. So it looks like we are clear right now. Go ahead and enable full self-driving. And we're going to see if we can fool it. So as soon as we get out on this road, yet again, I'm going to force the speed way down. So I'm looking ahead, the timer with the camera is resetting itself because I'm paying attention. And I'm gonna slow the speed down, slow it down. We're gonna go to like 12 miles an hour, let's just see. Now hopefully it doesn't reset after we get past this sign, as long as it's not. Okay, there we go, it's taking into effect 11 miles per hour. I'm gonna turn on the hazard symbols, hazard, uh, what you, hazard lights, okay, they're blinking. Car's passing me there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna look up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a few moments later 99 100 101 102 wow look at this guys this is not good so this is a bug Tesla, I hope you see this video and I hope you fix your in-cabin camera so that goofballs like me don't mess with your driving system because this is a danger to our public roads 
And I'm just gonna say that right now, but like, obviously the person who does this is the person that would be at fault. It's their problem. However, this should never, ever be possible for this software to function like this when someone is clearly not paying attention. And it's, in my opinion, extremely easy to see that I'm not paying attention. So if Tesla has the ability to track the position of my head with sunglasses, why can't they track the position of my head while I'm wearing a mask? Now that begs the question, what happens if I put a, uh, a like a cloth uh, nylon over my face? You know, you can breathe really well. I mean, and you can see really well through a nylon, uh, uh, you know. Now, now a mask uh, during COVID, that's covering your mouth. It still attracts your eyes when you're when you're using this software. But if you put if you cover up your head entirely with um, a cloth mask or something like that. I'm sure it would be the exact same thing as wearing this mask, but you would think that this mask would be would look enough like a human that it would say, okay, the head's orienting this way, but it seems to really trip up the cameras where it just doesn't even know what's going on anymore, which is mind blowing to me. <laughs> You'd think that they'd be able to process that and, and give you a warning or something. There was no warning, nothing that indicated there were any problems uh, going on. Really bizarre, if you ask me. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully this can get fixed in the future. And I hope this is helpful and useful for everybody so you can understand how it operates. This is not posted to uh, allow people to abuse it. This is posted mainly because, and I'll be honest and upfront with this as well, you cannot get any feedback from Tesla. It's mind blowing to me that I, as a consumer of this software who paid 12000 I could have easily have paid $15,000 for this software, I cannot even get any reply from Tesla. If I send them, and I've sent them a lot of emails, tons of emails, never once have I gotten a single reply. And that includes emails where I asked really basic questions emails where I provided helpful feedback. I included my VIN number, extra video footage. I, I included lots of different things. Never once did I get a single reply. So in my opinion, for people that are loyal and strong supporters of Tesla, if they're not getting any replies or any interaction, any feedback whatsoever from Tesla, and there's no way to close the loop, then the only way to get their attention is to do stuff like this. So you can't really fault me. I know there's gonna be a lot of hate on this video saying you should never be testing this stuff. You're exposing these problems. So what? This is good. This is good because it's the only way to get Tesla's attention. So hopefully they can see this and hopefully they can fix this so that other people don't take advantage in the future. Because the last thing we want is an accident on our roads due to a problem with the way it's 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 monitoring humans. I hope in the future that I can do this exact same test and it stops me from driving. Or I at least at a bare minimum I get the pay attention to the road message. But really it should be able to de be, be able to detect when you are abusing the system and bypass even entirely those pay attention to the road messages. And I think in the future, eventually it will get good enough where it will be able to uh, detect people abusing it. And then it comes back to, again, is it the driver's responsibility? In a level two system, it is the driver's responsibility. So if they're abusing it, then that's their problem. It's not Tesla's problem. And that's probably why they haven't addressed this yet. But imagine in the future when Tesla takes responsibility for this, which I know Elon Musk really wants. He wants full self-driving to become a reality. In that situation, Tesla is liable and they have to get this stuff down. So I hope that this helps. And if you guys enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe. It goes a long way. I'm a, a very small content creator and your support is so much appreciated. How can you support me? I have a Patreon site, it's in the description. And just by liking and subscribing, it goes such a long way to help me out and to continue uh, inspiring me to 
to post more and more content moving forward. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.